Okay, so hello, my name is Manuel, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create different kinds of images for your product listing. So to give you an idea, okay, I'll first show you the uh, sample product images I have created using Canva. So Canva may or may not be enough for this task, uh, depending on your chosen product. Sometimes editing some photos will require other types of uh, programs or software such as uh, Photoshop if editing uh, is actually uh, very complicated. So, but for now, we'll just uh, demonstrate how to create such images using Canva. So the images I'm talking about uh, would include the main image, okay, but my main highlight would be the other types of image such as uh, this one. Um, images that show or use infographics to show benefits and features of the product. So this is one sample. Uh, this is another sample of infographics being used for the images. Okay. Another type of image would be the uh, comparison uh, type of image where uh, maybe two products are being compared or maybe a before and after is being compared when using products. And uh, another type of image, very common, would be the dimensions, okay? So for the dimensions, it could be something as plain as, uh, let's say, this one, okay? But we can also put in uh, a background image, okay? So it really depends on the style preference, okay? And the final type of image I'm talking about would be the uh, lifestyle image. It's an image where we show how to use the product. Okay, like for instance, this water bottle, okay, or for this, let's say, uh, desk, okay. So, as uh, what's being seen here, uh, uh, this organizer uh, is being shown here to be on a desk. Okay, so this is one way of showing how it's being used in real life, okay? But we can also see that uh, it's also highlighting the features and benefits of the products here. So there is no limit as to what styles or ideas you can combine in one image. It could be infographics plus lifestyle image. It could be uh, infographics plus measurements or dimensions of the product, or it could also be uh, just uh, uh, zoom in effects. For example, this one, just zoom into the images and uh, discuss the features and benefits without making use of any infographics. Okay, so let me just check on something real quick. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so today um, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to create a sample, uh, a product image, different product images for a product I use, okay? So, but before we do that, we first need to hit on this button here, create design, and we customize the design. So based on what I've read on the Amazon guidelines, as well as on what I've read on sites uh, such as uh, the seller app site, where they provide very good tips on on what the good practices are for creating an image. So what I know is for the main image, we just need a white background, but the image should have a minimum size of 1000 uh, pixels, okay? And it should also have a white background and the uh, product itself should be the picture of the product. I mean, the picture itself should be the picture of the actual product and it should occupy 85% of uh, the frame, okay? And also another tip is to research all the lifestyle images. Uh, if uh, stock images will be used, it's best to research on them in advance, to plan out everything, to research on the product benefits so that uh, it will be easier to come up with ideas how to or what to put on the image okay, or how many images will be used. Because I think on Amazon, we have seven to nine slots for the pictures or images, so we can uh, use all those to highlight the benefits of the product, all right? Not benefits, but uh, 
uh, everything that a potential buyer needs to know to buy to to about the product, and also uh, uh, those images should also help uh, convert. Okay, so uh, I've already researched uh, some of the images in advance, so I've placed them here. So uh, the product uh, I'll be creating the images around uh, would be is uh, this uh, organizer that I've created. Okay, so this is the raw image I have taken using my phone. I've also used the beautify effect to enhance it a little bit. And if we zoom into the product, you can see that there's this fold. So I actually placed it against a white background. I used a uh, folder, a white folder for that, and just did a bit of lighting to help uh, take this picture. All right, but as you can see, this picture is not perfect. I wouldn't even consider this to be my main image. So what I'll do is, for example, uh, this is an image I have taken using my phone. So what I'll do is I will uh, create or use the background remover feature of Canva to do that. Okay. All right, and once that's done, okay, I'll, uh, I think this is actually good enough to be the main image, okay? We just need to make sure it follows the rule of occupying 85% of the frame, maybe something like that. I think that's about 85%, okay? But another thing that we can do is um, I can duplicate the image, okay? Okay, so I can copy that and paste, okay? And once I'm done with that, I will just flip this over vertically, okay? Okay, and I'll drag that over to, yeah, I'll just first detach the image from the background, okay? So this one too, detach image from the background, okay? Okay, okay, let me just do that again, okay? So copy and paste, okay? So I'll flip that vertically, okay? So, and I will send that backwards, okay? Okay, what I'll do next is I'll try to uh, reduce the transparency of that one. Okay, so this is to create a, uh, what we call a, uh, a reflection effect, okay? So, and once we're done, we can group them together and we can expand it, okay? All right, and if we need to edit some parts uh, or either of the two images, we can ungroup them again, okay? So let's say if we need to uh, reduce the transparency more, we can do something like that. Or if I want to add, let's say, uh, a shadow effect on this, you see the drop effect, to make it more realistic, then I can also do that, okay? Okay, so, yeah, okay. So I will think I'll just have to uh, I'll make sure I align this one perfectly, okay? So, and move this up as well as this one. Okay, again, we just need to make sure that the main image actually occupies 85% of the frame, okay? So, okay, I think that's good. Yeah, just a little more. So I'm going to highlight both of them and group them together. So just in case I need to adjust them, then I don't have to work on the individual parts, okay? So the next image I'm going to create is I'm going to create uh, an image showing the uh, benefits of the products using a uh, zoom effect. So again, I'm going to use um, the background remover for this procedure, okay? And I'm going to make use of frames, okay? So these are elements in Canva that we can use. So we don't have to manually uh, work on shapes or overlap shapes together, okay? All right. Which is uh, copy and paste and paste again. Okay, so 
for this one, I will highlight three main features of the product. Okay. So uh, that would be the mesh design, the smooth edges, and maybe durability. Okay. So one thing I can do is I can just zoom in on the images. Okay. For example, this one, I want to highlight the uh, smooth edges. Uh, I can do this. Okay. Right. And I can do another one. If I want to highlight the mesh design, I'll just zoom in on that part. Okay. Maybe at this part, this looks better. Okay. And if I want to highlight uh, durability, maybe I can uh, do this one too. Again, these are just information. Uh, that may be correct or not correct, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Now you can see that uh, we have this red highlight uh, or maroon color for the circle, but I'm not really going with that color. All right. So I guess for demonstration purposes, I've already chosen this color. And uh, uh, I also chose a complementary color for that, which is this one. Okay. So I'm going to use this one instead. And we're going to use that as a theme all throughout the other images to make sure that we're just uh, consistent. Okay. So I'm going to use that. Okay. So that looks better. Okay. And for the label, I'm going to use, uh, okay. Shortcut key is not working right now, but I'll just uh, create one myself. Okay. It's very easy. Okay. Copy and paste and paste. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, we can just modify the font size together, or font style together. Okay. So maybe I'll do this. Okay. And I'll just reduce the font size on that. And I want everything to be all caps. Okay. So there. Add a heading. So I'm going to say, uh, smooth edges okay and mesh design and uh durable i'm just gonna say that okay so this and this all right so that one okay so this is not your final case. It appears that it's taking too much because uh, I, I want to have a main header for each of the uh, succeeding images. So what I'll do next is I will, uh, no, I don't want that group together. So I'm just gonna take that away. Okay, I just want to group these three. Okay, so I can enlarge that again, okay. Okay, so I think this is all right. Okay, but maybe I want to uh, yeah, make that bold. Okay, all right, and I want to copy this because I would like to create uh, more text here. Okay, okay, because I'd like to highlight benefits. Okay, for example, uh, and for this case, I'm going to not do an all caps here. So for example, I'm going to lay this, this as durable. Okay. Or maybe just bullet points, uh, uh, never scratch or avoid. Uh, okay. Never scratch, never scratch our work desk. Surface. Okay, I can do that. Okay, another one is for the mesh design. Okay, uh, uh, find uh, documents easily. Easily. Okay, I'm going to expand that. And finally, for uh, product does not break easily okay we can do that okay so i don't really want them to be in the center i want them to be here okay and i'm going to align them 
Okay, all together here. Okay, or yeah. Okay, and if I want to move them a little bit, I'm just going to use the arrow keys. And we're going to group them again together so I can easily move this part around. Okay. And again, I'm going to wait. I'm going to group those items together again. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so this is one way to do it, okay, because uh, I'm going to add the excellent, uh, I'll just say organize documents like a pro. Okay, so again, this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not really... Uh, I haven't researched so much on the product yet, okay, but I would strongly advise to do that before starting to create images. So next thing I'll do is I will try to search for uh, rectangle. Okay. Oh, no, no, not there, but here on the elements. So rectangle. There's a shortcut key for this actually, okay, but doesn't seem to work. It seems to pull up the ruler instead. Okay, again, we need to be consistent with the branding. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that over here. Send that backward. Okay. So this is all good. Okay, but um, just to emphasize uh, maybe some branding concepts. So I'll try to uh, do this. Okay, so I can add a little bit of this. Okay, I can uh, reduce that, do a bit of rotation here. Okay, and I think it goes well with white. Okay, same with the font here. I'll, I'll go with white for the headline. Okay, all right. So other things that we can do is we can put uh, images in the background to highlight. Okay, so for example, I think I've already done that. Okay, but Let's say a table a top. Okay, let's look for one here that looks excellent. Okay. Because anyway, what we can do is we can always uh, reduce the transparency. I'll send that back. Okay. Because let's say if it takes the focus away from the the image itself, then uh, we can work on reducing the transparency to make sure that it doesn't overwhelm the product okay or it doesn't take much focus uh, away okay wait, wait i'm not going to do that so that's 15 19 okay okay uh sometimes it's it's really up to you to check if uh, the background actually works well with the images. So in my case, uh, I'd like to expand this one more. I'd like the part. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Okay, so I think that's something. Yep. Okay, I can't. I think we can work on that. Or yeah. Okay, there you go. All right. So that's one way to highlight the features and benefits, and that's actually to use a design, okay? I mean frames for uh, design here and to use maybe the zoom effect to highlight those features, okay? But another thing that you can do is you can uh, use, I'm just going to group this design first and copy it, okay? Let's say you would like to prevent uh, to show some alternatives to a potential client. Then uh, what I'll do is I will do this. Okay, I can also uh, use uh, infographics instead. So I'll say uh, durable. Okay, so I can make use of this. OK, 
Okay, so we can use infographics because infographics are very effective in helping a potential buyer remember the image. I mean, the uh, features of the product okay, or the benefits they're going to get from the product. Okay, instead of just plain text. So for this one, I'll use this for uh, lightweight. Okay, okay uh, I'm just making these uh, benefits up. Okay. For now, just for demonstration purposes, uh, I can do maybe easy clean, easy to clean. Okay, so yep, I'll use this. Okay, and another thing that we can do uh, is yeah, smooth edge. So I can go with uh, yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Okay, and uh, last, uh, okay, so we have durability, we have smooth edge, uh, yeah, mesh design. Okay, so uh, we have, uh, maybe I'll work on this one. I'll use this one instead. Okay, so again, consistent with uh, the brand colors of the brand theme so I'll make use of this color okay so uh, yep okay anyway Canva provides uh, these lines to uh, help you check on alignment okay They've actually been appearing um, during the video, okay? So I'll use this text. Um, okay, there. So I'll copy and paste. Okay. So I'll say uh, durable. I'll say uh, lightweight. I'll say easy to clean. And I'll say uh, smooth edges and uh, mesh design. Sign. Okay. And. Okay. So I think this will work. Okay. Okay, and what we'll do again is uh yep, I'm gonna whoops. I'm gonna group this part together because uh there's just too many of them and if ever we need to do something it's best to apply the design or the effect to all of these immediately than uh, working on them individually for the same type of adjustment. Okay. So this is one way to do it. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea to add a background to it, for example. Okay, let me try that. Okay, yeah, it's not working for me. So I'll just eliminate that, okay. So uh, even this one, yeah, it can be background or without a background. So it really depends on how the effective the design will be. Okay. So, uh, okay. All right. So uh, I think I'm just going to stick to this one. Okay. So again, I can uh, yeah, duplicate that. Again, create the uh, mirror effect. Okay, I have to flip that horizontally first. Okay, and I'm going to send that backward. Nope. And backward, uh, send backward. Okay, there it is. Just reduce the transparency altogether. Okay, and again, I'm gonna add a shadow effect for this. to apply okay 
So uh, again, I'm going to group this. No, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it took away the shadow effect. Let me just do that again real quick. Okay. I don't know what's doing that, but yeah, I'll ungroup that again. I hope it doesn't do what it did earlier again. Okay, so there it is. Yep, it's able to work for us. Okay, so again, we have already highlighted the features and benefits of the product using either uh, this kind of zoom effect or we can also use infographics. Okay, so again, we can always also combine those two designs all together. Uh, again, just be careful when choosing a background image to see if it's going to work or not work for your image, okay? So for example, maybe I can remove that and uh, do this one instead, but I think it's gonna be too plain, okay? So if it's still not going to work, then uh, yeah, I'll just adjust, adjust the transparency altogether, okay? All right, so let me see if that's going to work here too. I think maybe I need to make it darker if it's going to work. But again, you can always do without it. Okay, so next uh, image I'll create is. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, uh, the lifestyle image. Okay, so I'll just say here uh, avoid avoid office clutter. So what I'll do is I'll create a, um, a before and after image uh, when using the product. So I'll go back to frames. Okay, I'll select frames again here. Okay, I'll just use this. Okay, no, 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 that's not what I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to use uh, wait. I'd like to use a rectangular frame for this. Okay, that's going to work really well with the design. Okay, I'm really so far down the selection here. Okay, I think this is it. I just need to make sure that I'm, nope, not that one. It's not that. It's not that. Pretty sure I was able to find it yesterday. Okay, but uh, anyway, any frame will do here. Okay, because uh, what we're after is uh, it's not letting me adjust the color. I'd like to uh, make use of our color theme here. It's actually highlighting the picture itself. Okay. Nope. Okay, so that's another reason why we need to uh, do this in advance. Because anyway, we can always add these to certain folders. Okay, so maybe I'll do something like that in the future. Okay, but anyway, for this one, I'll just yeah, it's it's already highlighted that. Okay, so I'll do this and I'll just duplicate. This one, copy and paste. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to go look for an arrow element. Something that it can be used this or this or this. Anything will do. 
Uh, but I'll go with this one. Just to highlight uh, the benefits of the product if we use it. Okay. Okay, so uh, I don't know if this is gonna work this time, but we can see this color here, a complementary color, because it's going to be uh, like that all throughout to do something different. Okay, uh, this one too. Okay, nope. Oh no 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 no! I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong part. Okay, so there it is. So you're pretty much getting the idea what we will be doing here is to actually highlight office clutter and the effect of using the product to get rid of that office clutter. So uh, like this one, okay, this is the office clutter image that I have, okay? And for organization, I took a picture of this product, something that I used, okay. So that set, okay, because this could have worked better with a rectangular frame, but I'm just really having some trouble of, of finding it right now. So maybe I'll just uh, duplicate the design and see how it works with a rectangular frame, okay. Uh, maybe this one, okay? I'll use this one and uh, duplicate it maybe, okay? And position is, uh, I'll, uh, I if I can flip this, okay? Maybe something like this. So you see there, it should overlap. So, because we need to highlight uh, the office clutter part. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, yep, there you go. But this one doesn't have frame on it. Okay, so that's what I was wanting to go for, to have a frame for it. Okay, all right, so maybe I'll, uh, yeah, I'm really bent on looking for that frame. I was able to find it yesterday. It's a portrait, it's not gonna work. Okay. Just give me a bit of some time here to look for that. Yeah, I think this was what I was looking for earlier. I don't know why it tends to do that. Okay. Let's see if, let's see what happens if I put a natural image on it, if it's going to change that. Nope, doesn't, so stays the same. And that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so uh, okay, rectangular, okay, uh, horizontal. Okay, so yeah. Yep, I think this will work. Okay, this, and I'll copy and paste it. Okay, just make sure we don't lose that arrow here. We might need to really change the color in that one to this. Bring it forward. Yeah, bring it forward so it overlaps the two for emphasis. Okay, and make sure we still have some amount of white space to work on. Okay, so yep, we're going to put this one here. Yeah, 
and against the office clutter here. Okay. Anyway, I think I've been dwelling too much on this. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll just use black for that one. Okay. So this is the uh, before and after image. It's very simple. Okay. But I think we can work on this one too. And uh, since it looks a bit plain, I think, uh, yeah, I'm just going to delete this one. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm just going to go uh, with uh, another type of element, not, which is photos. I'm going to look for a tabletop. Another tabletop uh, photo here. Okay, so yeah, I think this will work. Put that in the background. And again, just reduce the transparency for that. Okay. So uh, one, two, three. Okay. So the last uh, kind of image that we're going to create is uh, one with uh, office dimensions. Not office dimensions, but the product dimensions. Okay. So I'll do this. Okay, so I'll just add a heading here. I'm not sure we do this and do that. Okay. So I'll just say organize pause without taking too much work desk space. Okay, so I'm just going to reduce that here. Okay, and I'll use a white font for that. I can just copy the element here. Make sure it doesn't get in the way of... There, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to take uh this image again of the product is that here okay so for the measurements i'm just gonna make use of let's say uh our random numbers here but i'll still try to uh draw it to scale okay so the shortcut key would uh actually be l okay but it's not working right now so i'll just uh, use this all together, okay? All right. Okay, so L. Okay, so yeah, lines. Lines, okay. So I'll start with uh, this one because the uh, most Okay, so it's still in white. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, but I'll just uh, create this one instead, something like this instead. I'll just have it in blue. Okay, so there. So we already have something like that. I just want one end of it to be like that. Okay, this is really, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Nope, it's not the one I'm looking for. Okay, there it is, okay. This one, all we need to do is just uh, duplicate this one and turn it around, okay? Work on the alignment, okay? We're going to put it a bit close to the product, but just enough for it to uh, still have room for the uh, number, okay? Make sure that it's uh, quite aligned with uh, the product itself, okay? Okay, and again, uh, we can just duplicate this part. 
for the other parts. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of rotation here. Okay. Just shorten that one, okay? Okay, and for the last side, okay. I'll do this, uh, rotate it. Okay, and again, duplicate part. Okay, there we go. So I think I just need to put it a little bit to this part. Shorten this one. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some uh, random measurements. Uh, again, I'll just try to put it to scale. So I'll just say, uh, let's say five inches. I don't know what it's doing, uh, five inches. Okay, well it's doing a white font instead of black. Okay, and I'm gonna copy that and paste. So here I'm gonna do, let's say uh, two inches two inches and for the longest side maybe I'll do uh, seven better yet eight eight inches eight. okay so uh, we have this okay this is a sample of the image I'm talking about but I'm gonna highlight these parts so I can easily adjust uh, how they are. I'm not gonna make them bold or anything. Okay, but these lines, uh, I'm I think they're just too thick. So I'm going to reduce the weight of the lines to maybe two. Two. Okay. So uh, once we have this taken care of, I'm again going to group them so I can easily adjust them. Okay. And depending on your style, you can also add, let's say, uh, images uh, as a background. So let me do that real quick. Again, we'll just do tabletop, but we're gonna, going to use uh, something different. Mm. I think this one looks great. Okay. Yep. I think I can work on that size. Okay, there it is. So we have the dimensions of the product. Okay, just need to send it backward again and send it backward again. There it is. Okay, so we already have dimensions before and after comparison infographics and features and benefits. Another thing, another type of image that we can create is what we call the, uh, what we call the, uh, the lifestyle image, okay? So, we can say here um, the best addition to your office desk. We can say something like that. Okay, uh, and uh, there. Let's just ungroup this one first so we can work on expanding this. Okay, and again. Yep. 
okay do something like that do something like that you do something like that here it's just gonna change it so that it won't be repetitious okay so uh, before we before I add those images okay I'm just going to show you what I did because sometimes we don't really need a natural model to show how these pipes are being used uh, there's a trick I did you can see here these images are uh, showing uh, people working on desks okay or even an empty desk like this okay but what I did is uh, I utilized uh, this picture this picture comes from uh, the the uh, the original picture actually had some background on it like this one okay but again I used the uh, background remover of Canva to come up with this picture and I actually uh, tried to edit this picture so that it will appear to be uh, let's say uh, it appears to be in this picture okay so I'm just gonna zoom in zoom out okay so let me show you the before and after so so you can see uh, these two images uh, the product was not here it wasn't here but I was able to put it in there and just to make it a bit more realistic again I tried to add uh, since I think this is a, a bit of a, a smooth surface okay I actually add the reflection and shadow effect okay so that's what I'll do now I'll, I'll try to uh, do the uh, I'll try to uh, incorporate those lifestyle images and I'll use frames for that. Okay, so preferably uh, a frame that has three. Okay, so maybe this one. I think this is something I can work on. So I can uh, put all these images together. Okay, already the one with the product, of course. Okay, so I'll just expand that. And this one, I think I'll put that below. Whoop, is that how it works? I'm not so sure. Hmm. It's not really that effective. Yeah, I think I need to change the frame that I'm using here. Okay, so something with three. Okay, maybe I'll work on this one instead. Okay, this looks all right. Maybe I can slant it up a bit. Okay, and yep. Okay, and this one, and this one. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think this is better. Okay, so we can say here, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to put something in here, okay. I'd like to think about it, okay. So maybe I'll just do another tabletop uh, or work desk, okay, work desk, uh, a photo here, okay. So, uh, so, yeah, maybe something like this, but I'll flip this uh, horizontally, okay? I'll see how that actually works for me. Because it's already a white background against a white background, okay? I'm just going to send that back. Okay, and I'm just going to look for a rectangle to, uh, okay, do a little bit 
uh, a background accent to this. Make sure that it doesn't really look too plain. Okay, so I think we're all good here. Okay, maybe I'll just change this to the other color here. Okay, so there you go. We have uh, created five images here for uh, uh, the product listing, okay? So this is the lifestyle image so that people will get an idea about how to use a product, okay? So uh, again, we'll just group these two together so we can easily expand or, uh, no, 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 not that. Okay, just put this, uh, bring forward, bring forward. Okay, there you go. Okay, so these are just some of the ideas. I mean, there are a lot of ways to go around this. I uh, actually always constantly research on uh, Amazon for ideas. For example, uh, let me just highlight a few ones here that are very good. Okay, before and after image can be like this, okay. Um, okay, another is uh, features and benefits or uh, zoom in effects that have has been combined with dimensions. Uh, they can also be used, okay. All right, and uh, also infographics. Okay, there's just great ways to work, uh, work with infographics like this one, okay or uh, this one okay so uh, there's just a lot but these are just one of the simple ways to do it okay okay so uh, i think that's it uh this concludes the video demonstration on how to create uh, different kinds of product images for your amazon listing Okay, so the, uh, I think we have seven to nine image slots for this. So other things that we can use here is uh, to highlight the different angles of the product, but we can always work the same way with what we did with the main image, like this one. Okay, if we want a top view, we can use this. Another side view, okay, or even a back view, we can do that, okay. But uh, pretty much that is the idea, okay. So main image infographics, uh, like this zoom in effect before and after, and of course, very important, the lifestyle images showing how the product is being used. So thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video.